So I'm going to continue uh, this side of the tree and I'm now at a quite an important branch here at the back. This is a very important branch and I've been waiting to do this because, well, uh, the, the, the back of this tree was a little ill. Maybe you can see it here. There's a crack. It, it almost broke and I had to um, to fix it with the raffia to to make it heal again. But it, it's still, uh, no, I'll be very uh, careful when I work there. So this can make our back, this too, but it's a very, very, very big branch. See, it carries a lot of um, foliage and it makes a part of the sides and it makes a part of the back so I'll have to decide now how to utilize it and before we do anything we must think so if I bring this completely down not this one, this one I'm going to lose a whole portion here I can try to make different pets of it and maybe I just have to remove one or two branches then or just try to utilize everything that I have but still make a few pets out of it I'll start with these two, so it gives me an idea of where I am, um, where I have to go with the the other branches. So I'm going to work with two small one millimeter pieces of wire, because I want to uh, wire this little one and this little one separately, and then. I will keep I, I will I want to wire that and that but because this is a little thicker I'm going to use that uh, will need uh, two uh, pieces of um, a fine wire so let's choose a few pieces that's good yep The start of your wire is, is important, of course. Now it's never good to, to cross your wires because it's, well, it doesn't look very clean. But, you know, uh, as long as you're not uh, entering a competition or... Uh, or a show, it's, it's not a big of a deal. As long as your wire does the job, it's good. But of course you, you have to do your best. Because you will have to look at the tree for the coming season. I think this this part is is dead here. Just taking my time, not in a hurry.
Okay, so now this one and uh, this one with the same wire. It's gonna be a long, thin wire. So I just wired uh, this and this with uh, two wires just to make sure that I have everything wired up. And now I'm going to turn the tree and uh, use these branches to fill up some gaps. Well, these branches are coming from the back, so of course I'm going to try to use it in the back. I'm going to get it flat and then open it up. Uh, this is a really straight branch, so I'll give it some movement again, not the snake, but something that adds a little more interest. And then this one, I'm going to bring it down for the moment. Um, you might see that uh, this thick, well, one second, this thick branch here and this one that I just wired are crossing. So, well, there's not a lot you can do about that, but I'm just going to try to bring that one in so that they won't cross. means that this one has to move just a little and this is now what the pad looks like I think it's okay this this little dead pieces and get on my nerves. I'm just going to remove these brown needles because they're very ugly. So let's have a look. I think it's okay. Maybe this could get a little more like that. And bring it out. So this is nice and flat. Okay. Next one, like I said, is this big branch. Well, so far so good, I hope. So um, I, I need to do something about this branch, of course, it's a major branch. But I've been thinking uh, that I might cut off some of these little uh, guys here. But to know which one to cut, I will have to know uh, what space I can use and fill with this branch. And um, to know that, I will have to position this one first to see what space I can fill with that so it's always a, a little thinking because you s b before you start so I think I'll I'll do this branch it's not a lot just uh, trying to bring it a little more forward and get it a little more flat like so and trying to bring these a little in that position so I'm going to wire that and then uh, then we'll position the branches. So, first of all, three millimeter uh, aluminium wire. Not that I need to bend this branch, but I will have to uh, twist it a little. So I'm grabbing the. the wire. at this 
different places and then just tighten it. And as you see, it's already flat now. So maybe just a, a wire here and here, because this branch is sitting nicely over this dead wood, which I think is very attractive. It's the combination of dead and living, but maybe I'll give it a little twist too. Just to make it uh, a little more interesting. Trying to avoid uh, straight lines. Especially on a tree like this one. With a lot of dead wood. It represents, um, it represents a tree that has been suffering. Uh, a lot okay so that's nice and flat too this one is already nice and flat the question is, do I have to lift it, do I have to bring it down, do I have to take it to the left or to the back? And this, this will all depend on this branch here. Okay, so um, regarding this back branch going to zoom in a little like so and then um, turn it so you can see I think this little one is, is completely uh, obsolete so this will be um, a problem that I don't have anymore this one I can use to make uh, a side with this one and this one. This will be a, a back together with that one and this can be a side. But I think that uh, maybe this one is not uh, necessary. But I'm going to keep it for the time being. This is a little better here which I don't need to get it flush so yeah these I'm going to keep them all just wire them and if I don't need them I, I'll cut them off but it takes a year or two before you you get a branch like that so don't uh, do things too hasty. So I'm going to wire this uh, whole portion and then we'll position it.